Part 5, Caring for your cat 20 tips for caring for your cat Cats are excellent pets. Follow these simple tips to care for a great lifelong companion. Local governments have their own cat registration laws. Adhere to these laws to ensure complete protection. Get a cat collar with a tag where you put all necessary details like the name of your pet, your name, and contact details. This assures the safe return of your pet if you lose your pet for any reason. Feed your cat a nutritional and well-balanced diet and ensure easy access to fresh, clean water to keep your cat healthy and fit. Take your cat to the veterinarian for regular checkups. It is necessary to schedule vet visits from the time you bring home your kitten. Keep your furniture safe from scratching episodes. You can train cats to use special scratching posts. Cats are fast learners. Have the vet neuter or spay your cat at the age they advise. This helps maintain the health of your cat. Regular grooming of your cat's coat will keep it soft, shiny and healthy. It prevents ingestion of hair by cats that may cause serious problems due to hairballs. Always set aside separate and exclusive time for playing and spending time with your cat. Plan regular exercise sessions to maintain the physical health of your cat. It also helps you bond with your feline companion. This is essential to ensure a stable and happy mental state of your pet cat. Start training your kitten from the time you bring it home. Kittens are small bundles of high energy. Be gentle but be firm too. Place a ticking clock in its bed to mimic its mother's heartbeat. Offer small and safe toys for your kitten to play and enjoy. Litter training is essential. Place your kitten's litter box in a well-ventilated and private place. Keep separate litter boxes for each kitten. Do not allow your cat to venture outdoors without supervision. Restrict such outings, as it might have an accident or contract an illness. Keep your cat indoors to maintain the health of your cat. You should never inflict any physical punishment on your kittens or cats. It only confuses them and makes them scared of you. Protect your cat from inquisitive and rough handling of your guests. Keep them in a separate room to avoid any unpleasantness. Cats could inflict harm, as they could scratch to protect themselves. Caring for a pregnant cat requires extra care and attention. Do not allow it outdoors. Give it additional food according to your vet's instructions. Give it a nice and cozy bed. Collect complete information in advance about cat care for such special times. Cats are very possessive and may not like extra attention you shower on your newborn baby. Instead, reassure your cat by giving it a little more attention. Your pet cats could wake you at unseemly hours to have their food. Discourage such habits and do not give them anything at such times. Cats learn to respect feeding times and will soon fall into a regular routine. Get pet sitters to care for your cat while you go on vacation. Allow sufficient time for your cat to grasp and learn the correct behavior you expect of it. Medical care for your cat could be costly. Get information from the internet to reduce vet visits but always get the advice of your local vet on serious matters. Get your cat accustomed to all kinds of dry and wet food so that you can feed it any type of food. 14. Grooming your cat and hygiene Though your cat spends a lot of time cleaning itself, they do need a regular brushing and cleaning. This helps to remove the loose hair, dead skin and also prevents matting. Regular brushing helps to keep parasites and fleas away. Regular grooming Regular grooming should be started early in the life of a cat and done regularly. If you have a long-haired cat, you will need more frequent sessions. However, with short-haired cats, once a week is sufficient to prevent matting. Regular grooming helps to keep your cat not only good and healthy, but also helps you to develop a wonderful bond with your pet. You get to know your cat well through these sessions and you can check for fleas, lumps, sores, ticks or irritated skin. Combing Combing regularly maintains good hygiene among cats. Gently comb towards the hair growth point and keep tangles away. You may use your fingers to untangle the fur. There are combs available in the market for combing your pet's hair. Use a comb with wide teeth for cats that have long hair and a fine-toothed comb for cats with short hair, these combs are best for picking up fleas and dirt from the cat's coat. Brushing Brushing regularly stimulates the cat's skin and helps natural oils to distribute more evenly. This helps your cat's fur to maintain its shininess. 
You may use a soft bristle brush or a wire slicker brush. A rubber grooming device could help to massage the skin of the cat. Nail trimming Use the cat nail trimmer to cut the nails of your cat. Gently press the paw to bring out the cat's nail and trim the sharp point. However, be careful that you do not harm the blood vessels. You may ask your vet for help when you try it out the first time. Bathing Bathing may not be a favorite practice for every cat. However, bathing helps prevent tangling and matting. Use medicated shampoos for your cat. Specific areas that may need particular attention are ears. Use cotton swabs to clean the cat's ear, as they trap lot of dirt. Be very careful when you clean the ears. Eyes and nose. Be particularly careful in wiping their nose and eyes. Wet a cotton ball with saline water to wipe the eyelids, not the eyes, of the cat gently. Dry the cat. Dry the cat by gently squeezing the excess water from the fur. After this wrap the cat in a large soft towel, and then comb any tangles gently. However, not using a blow dryer is a good idea as the sound scares most cats. Cat diet canned cat food is the best for your cat. It contains all essential nutrients and minerals in appropriate quantities. It also contains sufficient water. Canned cat food is available in three different types, crunchy nuggets are available as dry food or kibble. You can store these packages at room temperature for many weeks. They are economical and you can leave it in your cat's feeding bowl all day without it getting spoiled. Such crunchy food prevents formation of dental plaque. However, it could cause bladder stones if eaten to excess. Wet canned food can stay okay for a long period if you do not open it. Once you open it, you can store leftovers in the refrigerator for no more than a day. It should be put inside an airtight container. Any leftover or uneaten canned food on cat's food bowl should be discarded after 15 to 20 minutes. It could accumulate harmful bacteria. You can add a little cooked pasta, rice or potatoes to regular canned food to add to the taste and nutrition value. Semi-moist canned food is essentially wet nuggets. It is available in individual meal size pouches. Some of them are in different colors and shapes. You can store them in resealable containers at room temperature. Such food is not very high in nutrition. Additional foods for your cat A few extra special foods here and there can add flavor to your cat's diet. You can give a few bits of tuna fish once in a while if your cat does not have any urinary tract problems. Strained meat, minced chicken or turkey, poultry baby foods and white rice are good for a recuperating cat. Always check for any bones as bones could lodge within the cat's throat and choke it. Special treats include canned mackerel, herring, or sardines, chicken giblets, cheese, and vegetables in small quantities. Fresh water is essential for your cat. Keep a bowl of fresh, clean water always readily available. Change water every morning. Essential tips Never feed dog food to your cat, as dog food lacks taurine and necessary proteins. Do not feed leftovers from your plate, as it could upset your cat's digestive system. Do not give chocolates, spicy and oily food, or onions to your cat. Do not give raw egg whites, uncooked fish, beef, pork, poultry, or meats not approved by your vet. Kittens require many small feeds during the day. Keep dry food available all through the day. Adult cats could do with a single meal each day. Maintain a specific feeding schedule for your cat. Always give food to your cat in a clean bowl. Feed it in the same bowl and at the same time and place. Do not allow children to come near your cats while feeding, or to try to disturb or distract them in any manner. Playing and exercise Cats and kittens love to play with you and other cats or kittens. Cats normally do not play for long periods. Brief spells of play normally early in the morning and evening can keep the emotional base of your feline companion intact. It also maintains the physical health of your cat. Always maintain a regular playing and exercising time. Stick to this schedule, as cats would expect you to play at the same time every day. Boredom is often the main cause behind aggressive behavior, overeating, or compulsive chewing habits of your cat. Interactive playing builds and strengthens bonding between you and your cat. Shy cats gain a lot of confidence through such play sessions. They provide physical and mental exercise. The cat does not feel as much boredom when staying indoors. 
Simple toys that provide exercise for your cat tie a string around a cat toy and hang it in a dangling position. You can tie any object at the end of a chopstick. Kittens and cats love jumping and trying to catch the dangling object. Cats love playing with paper bags. They would try to explore within the bag and walk out majestically. You can cut a few holes in the bag to provide them many exit points. Placing their toys within these openings would be more enjoyable. Give an empty toilet paper roll and your cat will play with it like a bat. You could additionally put some object within the roll and enjoy watching it play enthusiastically. Try hiding one of your cat's toys underneath a pillow or in between cushions. Your cat would love to play retrieving games. Use a flashlight to beam light on the floor and walls in a semi dark room. Cats love chasing the beam and it provides both enjoyment and exercise. Roll a few ice cubes on a solid floor and your kitten will love playing ice hockey with them. Alternatively, put a few cubes in an empty bathtub and enjoy your kitten's game. Similarly, ping pong balls in the bathtub also provide a lot of entertainment and exercise to your feline companions. Fresh catnip toys prove very enjoyable to cats. They are happy tearing away at the toy and releasing more and more catnip. They then roll in it ecstatically. Certain motorized toys like mice or toys with fur tails could incite the predator instinct in your felines. However, do not overdo this game as it could tire your cat too much. Provide a windowsill for your cat to have a look outside. Alternatively, allow it to gaze at an aquarium. Some cats love watching television. You can put on videotapes of mice or birds for your cat to sit and watch. Housing your cat when you bring home your kitten from a shelter or breeder, it will be away from its mother for the first time. It will be among new and strange smells, people, and a whole strange environment. Allow it time to settle down. Some suggest applying butter to their paws. This makes cats leave their scent behind and offers faster acclimatization due to same smells everywhere. For the initial few days, give it a well-wrapped hot water bottle for warmth. Do not change the feed drastically. Continue with the same diet as it had at its previous home. Some kittens are allergic to cow's milk. If it shows signs of discomfort, discontinue it and reintroduce it later after sufficient dilution. Dietary changes should be made gradually. Make a comfortable and snug sleeping box for your kitten from boxes or baskets. Make sure that there is no way that the kitten might catch its claws in the weave of a basket or blanket. Older cats will prefer sleeping above ground level, preferably on a chair or similar elevated places. Provide sufficient toys and play things for your cat or kitten. Simple toys include ping pong balls, toys tied to the end of strings and hung on doorknobs, large paper bags with many windows and tunnels. Blank newsprint could be good bedding for your new cat. Do not us old newspapers as the ink may contain chemicals that could be rubbed into the cat's fur and ingested when the cat licks itself with possibly harmful results. But the blank paper is cheap when you can get the ends of rolls from your local newspaper office, it provides a lot of warmth and it is easily disposable. There will not be any problems of lice, worms, or fleas. Cats prefer staying in warm places. Use cat baskets with a waterproof base and keep them slightly elevated. This prevents kittens from remaining in their mess, if there are any accidents. A litter box is essential for a cat at home. Change litter daily. Once a week, empty litter completely and wash the tray thoroughly with detergent and hot water. Do not use any disinfectants in the litter box cleaning, as cats are allergic to disinfectants. Place the cleaned, dry litter box at a private and secluded place away from noise and disturbances. Use flat-bottomed feeding and drinking water bowls for your cat. These bowls should have a solid bottom. Placing feeding bowls on newspaper sheets can lessen any nuisances of droppings. Clean these bowls daily with water and remove any traces of food as soon as possible.